What is up YouTube? This is Piccolo the Ibmore, and I am back with another video. Now I'm here to hand out a red pill like a sensor bean. So I was researching microcamerism, right? And you know, I was listening to a bunch of other YouTubers speak on it, such as Black Ram, Coach Greg Adam, uh, Ron Wills, and BGS. And you know, I figured I'd do my own extended research and, you know, it led me to a conclusion. This girl can't escape her past. What well, microcamerism is basically when a man puts his spirit into a woman. Well, that woman can't remove that man's spirit. It's going to be with her till the day she dies. Like, she can go on a cleansing, fasting, you know, get her soul cleaned out, but it's still going to be with her. It's going to be in her brain, because that's where it, it goes to. It goes to her bloodstream, to her brain, and also in her spinal cord. So, if that's the case, I started to ponder and ask myself, does microcamerism still affect a woman even if a man is wearing a sheath? And it turns out the answer is yes because the woman is still opening herself and you're gonna swab DNA somehow, some way, whether to whether orally or you know, you're gonna intercourse so if you're dealing with a non-virgin she's gonna have the spirit the spirits and certain characteristics of her previous lover now in a previous video I believe my video um, her soul is polluted I said you know her number is three her limit is three men, and then she would, she would be considered done. You know, she's basically a thought. <laughs> and she would also be incapable of loving a man. Not that she can't love a man, but she just has so much love to give that after the first three guys, then, I don't know. She, men become basically disposable to her. And of course, what she doesn't realize is that she takes a portion of that man's spirit, or many men's spirit. Y'all ever play um, Mortal Kombat, right? Y'all play that ladder challenge, and you have to play. You have to go up against Shang Tsung, who is the you know collector of souls. Oh, and so was Ermac. Ermac had like many souls, but with Shang Tsung. Whenever you would go up against him, he would like take a portion of your soul and then mimic you. Like, he, or he would turn into another character. That's basically these modern day women. They're Shang Tsung. Now, I'm gonna get to the real nitty gritty. So, when a woman has intercourse with a man, her lady parts sort of adapt to that man's faults. You feel me? And, you know, if it's with many men, like let's say if she does three guys a week, <laughs> then her pH balance is going to change and her body's going to get all confused and it might produce an odor. And let's not forget that most of these women are on the pill. So, they're gonna basically say fuck condoms. Like women are not um, concerned about contraceptives as you think. So they're gonna basically say fuck that hefty back. Or they'll let you hit it raw. And since they're on the pill, they'll even let you nut in them because they won't get pregnant. And I was watching, there's this porn behind the scene I watched like many years ago, like back when I was in high school, 
Um, this guy nutted in a chick, right? And then uh, the porn star had to do another scene, like what, two days after? Two, three days, two, three days after. And then there was an odor coming out of her vagina, and so she had to sort of squeeze it out. And what came out of there looked like cottage cheese. I was like, yo, that's disgusting. I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> like, I just... So just keep in mind that when you're messing with a thought, her coochie might stink. But yeah, she had to purge that cottage cheese out of there. And of course, I'm thinking the man doesn't shoot cottage cheese up in a girl. I'm sure it was liquidy at first. And then I remembered microcamerism. So that woman absorbed all of that man's nutrients, selenium and zinc, and now it's in her bloodstream. And you know, the remainder of it just turned into cottage cheese. It's disgusting. And we all know that baby batter has a strong particular scent, like a bleach type smell. And, you know, I can't imagine ever going down on a woman, like ever, especially if she's not my woman. Like, it's just nasty, man. Black Ram has a video called Women Are Nasty, and <laughs> I mean, it's the truth. Like, you really are taking another man's sloppy seconds because... <laughs> Like, he's going to leave a portion of himself inside that girl. It's disgusting. And I also have a saying. You know, um, I say the seed is strong. It's a quote I got from Game of Thrones, this show. I also read the book. I'm going to tell you a quick story. I have this nasty-ass cousin, right? Uh, I went to his house one day. He had a girlfriend, and he was knocking it down. And um, I went to his house. I found a used condom behind his TV. And you wanna know how I found it? I smelled it. I thought it was his trash can, but it turned out it was a used condom. It smelled like hot garbage juice and cheese. Aged old cheese. So imagine that smell inside your woman. And that was from a used condom. And the reason it smelled that bad was because it was at least three days old. Yuck. <laughs> and, you know, let's say she was messing with a dude three days ago. And he just busts, it shoots a special beam cannon inside of her. And it leaves a scent. And you're about to hit that? That's disgusting, man. Oh, man. Like, Black Ram wasn't exaggerating when he said these women are nasty. And these women are delusional enough to believe that the vagina actually cleans itself. I mean, to an extent, but it can't get deep into the crevice and clean out all the baby batter. Okay, and even if the men do use the sheath, it's still gonna have a lingering effect because of the KY jelly. So... <laughs> Yeah, so you can never underestimate the effects of microcamerism because that woman is sort of going to take on the characteristics of that man. Like, I knew a girl back in high school. Uh, she wasn't a weed smoker. And then she got with her first boyfriend who happened to be a weed smoker. And then now she likes to roll her up some blunt some weed <laughs> her smoky smoke <laughs> she basically became a pothead and you know when they say women have a type well that's because of the first three men that she laid with I, I believe it's called the womb imprint yeah so the first three men she lay with uh, are basically they're gonna be the type of guy she go after. So this is why in the ancient world, uh, men back then they demanded virgins. You know, 
and they would also kill for adultery, basically sleeping with another man because they feel like she's defiled afterwards. <sighs> and these modern liberal women think they can be like men, sleep around like men, where they don't have the necessary tools to do it. I mean, come on, thought Nisha. You can't have someone run a train on you and then expect to be a wife and a mother. <laughs> but that's the effect of microcamerism. Oh, and let's not forget these women are getting abortions. I forgot about that. Well, I think I've made my video long enough. I think I got my point across on microcamerism. So leave a like, comment, subscribe to this channel, and I'll be back with more content. Peace.